This is Steve Rothman here with Stacy McKinley at uh, Lucky Strike Gym across the street from the Hard Rock. And uh, so, Stacy, we, we hear that uh, your daughter's in uh, contention here for bo for boxing Olympics. Tell us about that. Yeah, well, she'll be uh, competing uh, next week in Baltimore, Maryland. The tournament started on the 7th through the 12th. It is the uh, Olympic qualifier for the Olympic trials will be taking uh, place in October. If she plays third in that, she's automatically in the trials. And um, we're really proud of her here uh, in our boxing program, as well as the people of Pompano in Deerfield, Florida. She has a good chance. If she plays third, she's automatically in the trials. Uh, she's only 18 years old, and, and most of those girls have been fighting 8, 9, 10, 12 years, and they're adults. But she stands a good chance. Everybody likes her style of boxing. She's very technical, and she's, she's strong, and she's very dedicated. She's been boxing about four years. So we're looking forward to that, and we're looking forward to this uh, show on uh, Saturday night. So you're saying she's been boxing four years. What made her decide to get into boxing? Because, you know, I, I would think, you know, being a, a trainer, a boxing trainer's daughter, she'd start, you know, boxing out of the grave. <laughs> well, well, you know, she, she's my daughter. She's not my biological child. But she's, I kind of adopted her because, you know, uh, she's from a broken home like most of us in boxing now. We, we're from broken homes, broken dreams, and broken promises. And uh, at the time, she was 14 years old, and she was more or less kind of headed down the wrong path. Uh, I was in my gym in Deerfield, and I saw where a young guy had her training and trying to be a boxer. He was, he was training her to be a strip club fighter. And I told her, I said, you're too young to be in the strip clubs trying to fight. She said, well, I don't know any other way to box. And so I say, she asked me to train her. And I said, well, I've never trained a female before. And she asked me if I knew Layla Ali. And I said, yes, I do very well. And then she said, Layla Ali is her, that, you know, that's her idol. She has her pictures in her, in, her, in her bedroom all over walls and all that. And she started naming out all these female boxers that I knew. So it showed me that she was very interested. And I decided right then, I said, look, I will help you. But I'm going to train like I do the boys. And I want to talk to your mother and your father. She said, well, my father's not around, but you're talking to my mother. And the mother said, okay. And from that day on, she'd been in the gym consistently every day for four years. So I kind of, like, adopted her. And, and uh, you know, I, she said, I'm her I'm father. You know, I'm not a biological father, but I guess I am a father. Right, right, right. And t t tell us about uh, the training that you put her through. She's every day? She trains every day. She trains six days a week. And she's been doing it for four years. The same thing I do with my world champions and any other fighter. She has the same routine. She does four rounds on the speed bag, four or five rounds on heavy bag, four or five rounds uh, uh, sparring. She run three or four miles. She run the mountains. She push cars. She do it. <clears throat> the, the total routine I do with my boy fighters, she does the same routine. And she spar with mostly boys because there's not a lot of girls in this area for her to spar with. So, so last time she competed, how'd she do? The last time she competed in the, in the Olympic qualifier was in uh, uh, Colorado Springs at the Olympic training camp. She came in fourth. So this time, I think that she will come in and place. Hopefully, she play, if she plays third, she's automatically in the trials. And I'm looking forward to it. But those girls were very, very competitive. And how can all her fans out there, I saw she had 28,000 Instagram people, followers. How can they follow her? All you got to look at uh, Martin the Boxer. Go to Martin the Boxer. And you see most of the things that you can follow her. And uh, I really appreciate everybody and the people in Pompano who's really behind her. Um, direct television and a lot of other people uh, are behind her. Uh, she just enrolled at West Palm Beach State. Uh, she's doing an internship uh, broadcasting for a CBS uh, network out of West Palm Beach. And now we want to do some stuff with, with fight news. I want to be one of the people that's out there in fight news. So help this young lady out. She has a bright future. Okay, great. And that's... To follow her on Instagram, it is Martin, M-A-R-T-I-N, M -A -R -T -I -N, and then underscore the boxer. And uh, let's go, champ. Let's go, champ. All right, fighting news here at Lucky Street Gym. I see a bunch of Cannons, Shannon's uh, fans here. That's Shannon the Cannon, that's Trevor. Uh, Trevor, Trevor Bryant, uh, yes, yes, we, we saw we saw him last week, and we're going to interview him. All right, fight news out. From uh, Albany also, I got all these Albany fighters, New York fighters, they're all good fighters. The East Coast fighters are good fighters, they're very de dedicated and, and working hard workers. Also, also we have Quadrant Hills also fighting on the card. You remember him from the Hurricanes, he's a football player, he also played professional ball, he's on the card. So we got a host of people here. All right. Sounds good. Peace out.